Hey everybody, welcome back. I just fixed myself a cup of coffee here. It is, she's got the hiccups, Mint Cafe coffee with a little bit of sugar cookie creamer and the peppermint whipped cream on top. It's like a peppermint cookie coffee, pretty good. So today I'm sharing two 30 minute supper ideas with y'all. Both of these look like they would take a really long time to make, but they don't, they just take around 30 minutes. Today's video is also a collab with Valerie from The Hargett Life. Some of y'all probably remember her from the Fall Food Friday videos. She shares lots of good recipes on her channel. So when you finish here, make sure you go check out her video. I'm gonna have it linked down below. We're gonna go ahead and start with my favorite of these two Two recipes the copycat cracker barrel maple bacon chicken Okay y'all, today we're making a copycat Cracker Barrel maple bacon chicken. Uh, it's not going to be an exact copycat because I'm not sure if they're exact, in, like there's not very many copycat recipes of this out there yet. So I'm just going to kind of make this up from what I've read and from what I've tasted when I ate it at Cracker Barrel the other day. Um, and I'm just going to use my seasonings that I want to use. I'm going to use the Kent Rollins seasoning, but you can use whatever seasoning you want to use. So I already cooked up some bacon in my iron skillet and I took the bacon out. Now we're going to put this chicken in there and sear it on both sides. I'm going to season both sides too. And I have the oven preheated to 350 because once we sear it, then we're going to stick it in the oven. Uh, I'm not going to be able to fit it all into this iron skillet, so I'll just sear it in here and then put it into a casserole dish. So this is just the same pan we took the bacon in. I didn't add any oil or anything. It's just the bacon drippings in there. So we'll just let that go for a minute or so on that side, flip them, and then take these out and put the other ones in. I've got some potatoes in the Instant Pot, and we're going to make some green beans and have some rolls with it. This is smelling good. And now for the bacon, I didn't cook it all the way. I just cooked it a little bit because it is going to go on top of the chicken into the oven, so it'll finish cooking in there. I'm going to spray the casserole dish. That smells very good, y'all. Sounds like a restaurant chicken right there. Kent Rollins you know how to make some seasoning. <laughs> Let's see what's in it. Salt, paprika, sugar, dehydrated garlic, dehydrated onion. All right, we're gonna go ahead and bring that chicken. I'm trying to decide which way I wanna go with it here. I guess we'll go this way. So I've got three more that still need to go in here. We'll see if we can fit them all. Yes, I need Colby Jack cheese. <laughs> Y'all know it's already in here. He's prepared to help. I need Colby Jack cheese. Uh, it's the yellow and white, there you go. That's the one. Okay, let's see if we can fit this chicken over here. I think we can. Oh yeah, we'll be able to squeeze it in. We're turning this all the way down to low and we're gonna pour in some maple syrup. I'm gonna go with about a cup because I have a lot of chicken over there. A little bit of Worcestershire sauce, tablespoon of brown sugar, just a little bit of garlic powder. We're gonna let that glaze simmer for just a few minutes. Sissy's getting the cheese ready for us. And I'm sure you can use a different kind. I just, I'm pretty sure Cracker Barrel uses uh, Colby Jack. We've got the chicken, we've got the glaze, we've got the bacon, we've got the cheese. We are ready, just about to get this in the oven. We're gonna pour the glaze over the chicken. Now we're putting the cheese and we still have a little bit of the glaze left. That way, once we get the cheese and the bacon on, we can put a little more over the top.
Now we're just going to drizzle over the rest of the maple glaze and it's going to go in the oven at 350 for, I'm going to start checking at 20 minutes and see how the chicken's doing. I'm thinking it's going to take about 25 to 30 minutes. You putting the rolls on the pan? Rolls. You're doing a great job. It's a bread one. This, it is a bread one, yeah. Mama try. Mama try? Let me try. <gasps> Woo! I got it. Come go. All right, y'all, that one was so good. The loudness is my dryer. The door is not quite shut over there. That maple bacon chicken was better than Cracker Barrel's. It really was. It had a little more flavor than the Cracker Barrel one, and I think it was the Kent Rollins seasoning. But like I said, you can use whatever seasonings you want to use, but it was so good. That one was definitely my favorite. The next one is really good too, though. They're oven-baked pork chops. And most of the time, I don't really like oven-baked pork chops. I would rather fry them or grill them. I just don't really love them in the oven, but these have changed my mind. Oven-baked pork chops with sweet potatoes. And when I originally planned to do this one, I was gonna do sweet potatoes and apples. I just went with the sweet potatoes because the kids already ate all the apples. <laughs> Here we go. All right, y'all, the day that I made this recipe was also pie day. So I was watching Pumpkin Pie Wars there. So if y'all missed that video, I will link it down below for you. Now I'm starting supper. So we're making the oven baked pork chops with sweet potatoes. And I just put these sweet potatoes in the microwave for just a couple of minutes to soften them up so they would be easier to peel and chop. And then we're just gonna chop them up into little cubes. Once we got them all chopped up, I'm just putting some olive oil on them. Then I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper and some garlic powder. I know you're thinking like garlic powder with sweet potatoes, but it's really good. <laughs> So I'm just spreading them back out there on the pan and they're gonna go in the oven at 425 for 15 minutes. While they're in there, we're gonna get the seasoning ready for the pork chops. Me and Cece were putting this together here. So I put some salt, pepper, and I just completely made up this seasoning, y'all. I, I, like I said, sometimes if I find a recipe and I don't have everything that I need, I just kinda wing it and go with what I feel. So <laughs> we put salt, pepper, chili powder, garlic powder, paprika, and then I put a little bit of the blackened seasoning for blackened chicken. I put some of that in there too, and I'm telling y'all, these were so good. So once we got it all mixed up, then I put a little bit of olive oil on the pork chops, we brushed that in, and then seasoned them on both sides. When the sweet potatoes were finished up in the oven, I just pushed them over to the side so I could fit the pork chops on there. And then we put them back in the oven, leaving it at 425 for 15 more minutes. And I checked my pork chops and they were almost done at 15 minutes. I might've put them back in for just a couple of more, maybe 18 minutes. And then they were done. Here is the plate. I'm telling y'all these were good. They were very moist. They look a little dry on camera, but they weren't. They were very good. And this is the pie that the kids picked to leave out on pie day. So now everybody's having a piece of pie. All right, y'all, that's going to be it for today's video. Don't forget to go check out Valerie's. I'm going to have it linked in the description box for y'all.